sure that listening to the footage of the dog barking made the dog bark again. <laughs> this is why I'm a cat person. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to do this video because I haven't put up a video in a while of me conversing with you people, and that's mostly to do with the fact that I've been extremely busy slash haven't really had the desire slash emotional willpower to make videos. I know that sounds weird, I've been, but I've been focused on so much and I've had a bit of emotional upheaval, so I've just decided not to. There it is. I have so much footage, I just haven't made videos. And I actually have a really long video that I'm really excited to upload, but it's going to take a minute to upload it, so like, I just haven't. Anyway, I wanted to do this video on my laptop because first of all I can see it and it's actually not too bad footage which is great. I wanted to just do a quick video um, and I didn't want to charge my camera and I just wanted to talk and have it right in my laptop. So many reasons why I'm just doing this. So um, I just wanted to do quick update slash something I've been working on and it's been so great for me and I just wanted to share it with you. So you guys I have a lot of videos like I said that I want to put up but also I'm starting a new interview series with people in the spiritual community who I know slash who I've met. I'm ridiculously excited. Some are YouTubers. Um, I'm doing a video with the Atlantis King, Tyler Saunders, and I'm going to be doing some videos with some of my friends who are just really in tune. And the questions are really great. If you have a question that you would like answered by several different spiritual teachers, please uh, comment uh, down below what that question is and if I feel like it's a really good question I'll add it in so that's really really exciting um, also if there's a youtuber that you would really like me to interview after you start seeing the interviews please comment that down below as well because maybe I'll get in contact with them alright so number two a lot of stuff is happening it looks like I actually might be moving out of this house um, Tyler and I are kind of doing the dog Tyler and I are kind of branching off into two different directions, which is something we thought might happen. We weren't sure. We talked about a lot of different things. I might actually be moving closer to the city, Sydney, um, and getting a more um, permanent job. I also might be staying in Australia longer than I thought. Um, I was thinking May. I might be here till October or later. So that's really, really exciting. So you guys will see him, I'm sure, hopefully more than just in the interview. He does live here. We are, like, living together. But he's extremely busy, and so am I, and so we just tend to not have a lot of time to film. He's actually starting to do f videos as well, which we're super excited about. So that's actually really great. I'm branching out, I'm moving into kind of my own space, which is going to be really amazing. And then third is something that I've been really passionate about, and I've just started doing the last few days, but I can't even tell you like how amazing it's been just like for centering. I wanted to talk to you guys about connecting with sacred space. Ugh. Connecting with sacred space slash deity slash whatever you use to center. Um, I do connect with deity. I connect with Isis and Bast, um, Osiris, and some other guides. Um, I do tarot and oracle, but then I also have sacred space, um, my altar, which is extremely sacred to me. And I kind of committed to myself like over the new year, but like in the last like week or so, to every morning after I take my shower to take, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes to connect at my altar, in my space, do cards, light candles, have affirmations, connect to deity, and it has been so helpful for me. I think one of my biggest issues I've had in not being centered is not having daily practice with breath and things like that, and this has just been an amazing experience for me, even just in the last few days. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when I do this for a long period of time. So I wanted to tell you guys, like from personal experience, make it a part of your day to connect with your soul and yourself. Because sometimes in our huge schedules, the one thing we forget about is ourselves and taking time to be with ourselves or the deities or guides or even just space that we find most sacred which I think is really sad. So that has been amazing, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about it a little bit. Um, also, if you guys have things you do specifically that you'd like to share, please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys do. Maybe I'll add it into my practice. So anyway, sorry I haven't been posting videos. I know it's been really slow. I'm going to try to like get back into it. I'm feeling repassionate again, um, but no promises. Uh, Self-love comes first. What feels good comes first. So I would like to do videos, but here you go. Video!
Anyway, I love you guys so much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.